<laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's me, your boy Scooty, back again with another video. And today we are here with a very special guest, the one and only Calvin Chow from Team JRB, who just finished top 32 at one of the biggest YCS Niagara's we have ever had. Yeah. Calvin, how do you feel? Um, pretty good. Finally got another YCS thought. Nice. And uh, yeah, another top to add to your list of tops. Do you have any shout outs before we start this deck profile? Yeah, um, shout outs to Team Jobber. So, yeah. Cal's House on TCG Player. He helps me get cards. Um, Squiddy. <laughs> and Yasin 6x6. Like, he helped me like get ready for the game. So, I really appreciated him. And his YouTube channel is amazing. So, yeah. Nice, without further ado, then let's dive right into the deck. Alright, so um, I played Beaver Sprite, it's like a 40 card main deck. Right, so let's start off with like the Beavers, pretty standard, 3, standard frog engine, and then the Sprites. Uh, I'd say this is pretty standard too. Pixie was really good, since I played like Gusto Phoenix also. Yeah, I never really OTKs. missed a second red either. Nice, yeah. Pixie OTKs. And then the hand traps. The ham traps. Three Veiler. Three Imperm. Three Ash. Uh, the reason I maxed out on these is these ones were more guaranteed. And I was also using these hand traps to mainly like abuse Nib, which I played three of. Wow, the ulti Nibs. Yep. Uh, like against the mirror match, if you Ash Gigantic Sprite, if they don't have red, your Nib is just gonna make, be a blowout. And same with like all these. Like, it'll just blow them out. So that was my reasoning for the hand trap lineups. And uh, also 3 DT Crow. I was gonna say, where are the crows at? <laughs> yeah. Did you feel that uh, there were any other hand traps you might have considered, like Ghost Mourner, maybe Bell? Um, if I did, maybe just like a one of, because if you activate it, if you activate it like once, they're gonna assume you play multiple. And that's about it. Yeah. But though, I felt like these ones were more guaranteed. Yeah. And then for the spells. Three starter, standard. The only ones that weren't standard was the Smashers. Some people play one, but I really liked the two. I don't know. Uh, I played against like mine decks, and two always came up. Yeah. So you always had to follow up if yeah. they get one out, and you weren't scared to use one. Mm -hmm. on but, like the first two monster. was used like a lot too. Yeah, definitely really liked it. Very nice. And three prosperity. Prosperity. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I don't like desires. What are the desires? I feel like Desires make sense also, but I just like Prosperity more because of my side deck also. And these are also pretty nice because I, I side them out. So, so like Dark for this, do you banish 6 or 3 or what do you, what's normally your go-to? It really depends on my hand. I think most of the time I just do 3 because I don't want to accidentally screw myself over. Especially if I have like a guaranteed play in my hand. Yeah. And then the God card. The one of the God card. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 40 card main deck. Wow, nice clean 40, okay. All right. Oh. Even so. with the double smashers, we fit in 40. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then my tokens. The Maple Story tokens. Yep. Yes, we Shout out to Maple Story. You already know. Uh, extra deck. Three elves, two gigantic sprite. Uh, I'm too scared to just play two, because I feel like I always make this, especially if the game like grinds long enough, three always comes up. Right. At least for me, it does. Um, and then standard toad. Like this is a phoenix. I use this for game a lot because of pixie, and I mm -hmm. think it's just like attacking two monsters and running it over is just important too. Yeah, attack over a gigantic nib token mm -hmm. with pixies. Attack again for game. And then the two charmers. Oh. Um, during testing, this came up a lot, but I didn't summon this at all at the YCS. You didn't summon up to back, bring back a toad and then you get yeah, double toad? <laughs> I didn't get to do that, but I still think it's pretty good just because of the idea that it could do that. And Ronin Toad can like come back whenever. Right. Yeah, and this card is just so broken against Sprite. Yeah, everything's dark. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah, this is for the, the one card Swap Frog play. And the last link. Uh, I just wanted like another way to kill. Cause sometimes I just have like an elf and then I bring back like blue and then I get jet and then that's like that's a guaranteed access code right there but another thing I wish I played was like a unicorn so I can get rid of more cards and so this would get like an extra thousand boost 
So were you only getting 2,000 attack boost off of that? Yeah, I was just getting it. But, and th this was also banished all the time for prosperity. Yeah. Right, that makes sense. And then, I, my favorite card is this one right here. What is this? Yeah, so the reason, I used to play this in the Live Twin version, but I like this more in the Beaver version, because after you use your Toad and you grab the Beaver, you summon this card, and then you like bring, you special summon something on their field, and you special like a blue, and then you get like a jet. And then after this attacks and you make Gigantic Sprite, you overlay this into like uh, Downward Zeus and then Gigantic Sprite effect Chain Zeus. Yeah. Like grabbing a beaver just gives so much pressure because that's just Zeus right there. Wow, and you're able careful. to detach the last material from the Zeus yep. to resolve the Gigantic in order exactly. to switch something amazing. Exactly. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I really love this card. Yeah. yeah that's why I really wanted to play a beaver because the pressure is just insane. And yeah, the Zeus package. Alright, on to the side deck. Um, for going second, I did three Dark Ruler, three Evenly. Um, usually, I, I still keep in my hand traps usually, even with the Dark Ruler, because the hand traps are still relevant, because you just hand trap the stuff that searches like the background interruption, like the spells and trap. Like if the special jet, you just ash that or veil that, and then you know your Dark Ruler will guarantee stop all the monster effects, and you just play for free. Yeah. Did you ever draw both of these, Dark Ruler than Evenly someone, for their entire board? Uh, I didn't. I Usually these don't go in together unless I really, unless their deck really feels like they would work like that. Yeah, these were mainly for tier elements. And then if they play the Punk Engine, I think these would have to go in because if they summon Baron, then Evenly won't resolve. Yeah. Got it. Alright, then these are for going first. 3D Barrier, Scythe, and Sanctum, and Trap Trick. So my idea with this, like, this is auto win against Tier Element, because if they start, if you call Fusions, and they, all they have is like a Revealing Dangers, you can just Toad negate that, and anytime they summon a, a Danger, or like another monster, you just bring back Toad, and you don't have to worry about them Fusion Summoning and getting rid of your monster, because all they have is like Normal Summon and Special Summon, where they have to commit to make a big monster and that's so you can just stop that so easily and then these were for if you get dark rulered and then if you trap trick you can like grab these also but yeah if you get dark rulered i just activate this and grab sight and they can't break my board so it's like they dark rulered for nothing nice yeah. so you also saw a d bear for the mirror match or just for fusion decks um yeah i saw it for the mirror also but it's not that the best versus mirror, but if they mess up and they try to make like a gigantic sprite or something, then I get the maximum value off of this. Nice, very nice. Yeah. That's only if they're put in the situation where they have the gigantic sprite. But yeah, and then yeah, these were good against mirror also. But I use these versus like uh, mind decks and rogue decks. I wanted to play econ originally, but I wanted to have like a more trap heavy side deck because people were playing eradicators yeah very very nice mm -hmm. yeah awesome so, congratulations again calvin do you have any yeah. last words um no i had fun and niagara falls is right behind me you got this <laughs> gorgeous view behind him to fit the awesome deck profile thank you so much mm -hmm. calvin super appreciate it and we'll see you guys next time on the next video ciao for now